What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build a working Lego Grand Piano. So first, let's open up the lid, insert our sheet music and see how it works. So that was just a nice little piece of music to demonstrate how this grand piano works. As you can see, when you press down on a key, it springs back up and that allows you to play your music just like on a real life piano. So this working Lego grand piano is great fun to play. Of course it doesn't actually make any sound since this is a tiny minifigure scale creation but as you saw at the start it still looks identical and functions just like a real life grand piano. You can see I've even included space for lots of strings inside the piano as well as some other details such as some foot pedals and you can see it also includes this cool little opening mechanism where the latch automatically folds out when you open the piano and folds back in when you close it again. And once again this looks fantastic from all angles and it's a perfect addition to any of your Lego mansions, concerts and music shops. Or even just as a display piece on its own because it really is that impressive. I'll show you how to build it in several sections starting with the base of the grand piano. Here are the pieces you're going to need to build the base and once you've collected your pieces we can start by taking a 4x6 plate and attaching a 1x6 plate just underneath it over on that side. Over on this side attach a 3x3 round corner plate and then hold this in place with a 1x3 brick. So that will go across the middle just over there and then your second corner plate can go with a one stud space in between them. Then just fill in that space with a one by three plate. So this will be the base and the back of the grand piano. And we can build this up with some two by two round bricks for the corners of the back part of the grand piano. And then we can continue this along with a regular one by two brick. Then underneath the brick, use a one by two plate to extend it out a little bit and then attach that another 2x2 two two round brick this time facing outwards and that will be part of the bit that sticks out a bit on the grand piano then we can build that bit with a 2x3 plate like this and another 1x2 plate can go on end and then we can fill this in with a 1x2 slope piece. So that will make sense why that's built like that in just a little bit. So just check that you've built all of that correctly because it's very important the spacing is quite exact. So then we can finish this bit off with a 1x3 plate just like that. And then we can start filling this in with some of our bracket pieces. So the first bracket can go on top of this 2x3 plate and then you leave another space, just a one stud gap and then another bracket. It's a little bit tricky to see because it's all black but that will get better once we start adding the golden string pieces. So let's add those and this is why you need a gap on this side. So you have space to fit two of these grill tiles, which will represent strings. So of course, in a real life grand piano, these strings vary in size from the shortest ones all the way to the longest ones over on this side of the piano. Then just underneath that, in that gap there, you can stick a one by one stud with the hole in it 
and that will allow you to position some more strings in just a little bit. So to check that's all correct, this is a little bit tricky if you're not used to building tiled mosaic style pieces. And then just make sure you've attached this 2x2 jumper plate in the right place, so that's just right next to the bracket piece. And then we're going to need a, another 1x2 jumper plate that will go on this side. And this is where you can attach some diagonal strings. So the strings will just clip on on the end. So the grill tiles will be one stud on the jumper plate and one stud off the jumper plates. Clip them both together, then just line them up so they all line exactly parallel to each other. And that creates a nice string effect. Then this is where we can place the final grill tile or string piece just over the middle. And that roughly fills up the space inside of the piano. So now let's smooth off these top bits and finish up with the back. So you can use some 2x2 two two round smooth tiles and it's pretty simple really. Just covering up the bricks that we built here earlier. So just use whatever tiles you have to fill in the space. I'm just using the exact 1x2 tiles and 1x3 tiles in their respective spaces. Then you see all the way over these brackets, we can secure them in place with a 1x8 plate. Just before we do that, let's just extend that with a 1x1 plate to fill in the gap. So now everything will fit in place just perfectly. And just clip that down and that should be all nice and secure. And we can actually put this aside for the time being while we build the front board which will hold your sheet music. So to build this, you'll need a bunch of these 2x2 hinge pieces. So just hold them together. On this side, attach a 1x2 tile and then a 1x6 tile all the way along the bottom. Then another 1x2 tile next to that and a second hinge plate just on the back. And make sure these hinges face this way so you get the nice angle with this design. Then the third hinge plate over here, a jumper tile, so a 1x2, that will allow you to clip the sheet music onto that and fill in the gap with another regular 1x2 tile. And this is where you can take your printed or stickered sheet music tiles. I'll leave links in the description to the sets, which you can get these pieces from if you don't already have them. And we can also put this aside for the time being while we just finish up the rest of the base. So for this you'll need these 1x1s with the bars, then clip a 1x1 plate on the top and a 1x1 slope piece just facing this direction. So do that two times and that will hold part of the mechanism which we use for the playable piano keys. These two pieces can clip on the outside just like this. And finally all that's left to do for this part is to attach the hinge to all of these brackets. So just make sure that's nice and clipped in. And for now, you can just leave that angled upwards because next we're gonna build the piano keys mechanism. This is what you'll need for the next section, which will include the piano keys and the lower part of the piano with the foot pedal. And in case you can't tell what these pieces are, these are the Lego Movie Unikitty neck pieces. And they're very important you won't be able to use any other piece for the actual piano keys. And you'll see why that is as we build them. But first we'll build some of the lower part of the piano. So we'll start with a 1x6 plate and two 1x4 plates with studs on two sides. Then leave a gap in the middle and then fill that gap in with a 1x1 plate with a clip in it. And this will allow you to clip a Lego claw piece, one of the ones that minifigures can equip. That is a really great piece to use as the foot pedals for your grand piano. We can continue building this up with some one by one bricks with the studs on two sides. So then clip the studs on one of the sides and do the same on the other side. Don't worry about the space in between them over there. Then fill in the back with two 1x1 slope pieces. 
So that will just be part of the design, make it look a little bit nicer. And also for the actual feet of the piano, you can use some nice pearl gold one by one studs. They just make the legs look very smart and allow you to clip it to studded surfaces. So then let's continue on by thinning in some more of this lower structure with some one by one plates on the exposed studs on the outside of this piece. On the left here, use a one by one clip plate and on the right, a one by one attachment plate with this round non-clip attachment on the end and then attach two one by two slope pieces just to cover up those attachments so you won't see them from the front we can put this aside for now all that's left to do before we build the keys is to build the third leg of the piano so that's just a regular one by one stud with a golden foot piece and one of the studs with a hole that will allow you to offset this leg and just make that look a little bit nicer. Then another couple of micro builds, just attach some one by one clip plates underneath of the slope pieces. So just do that so they're identical. They will come in handy once we attach everything together. So just like that. Now we can start building the piano keys. Six of these are gonna be identical. So the basic design is, you'll see how the neck piece has a hole through the middle. That's why you need a stud with a hole through the middle to continue that hole. And just use a one by one tile on the end. And do that until you've got six of these pieces. So once all of your keys are assembled, we can assemble the last one, which doesn't use a stud in the middle, just like that. And now we can join them all together. So for this you'll need a Lego aerial piece. You'll see you can just slide the keys through the end and stack them on. So you're going to want to start with this key which doesn't have the stud. And then you can slide the ones with the studs in the same direction. And you can start to see how these will end up looking like the keys of a piano. So you have the white keys at the bottom and then the black keys spaced in between them slightly higher up. That's a very cool effect, especially since these keys are actually able to be moved and make it look like you can play the piano. So just slide all of those through and they will be a bit wobbly at the moment, but there you go, you can see that's how they're all gonna be joined together. And now we can actually join all of this with the section we built earlier. So now you're going to want to take a 5x5 Lego Technic rubber band and just swing that over these two bar pieces. And we can put this back for now actually. Because next we're going to attach all of these keys to this piece. So you'll see this ball attachment on the end of that antenna that can go inside of that socket at the end. This piece can be clipped onto the clip. So that's why you're using two slightly different ends. So it will be a very snug fit at first. So just slide that all the way in and make sure all the keys are the correct way around. And then clip that in on end just by clipping it down. So now we can join these two sections together. So just slide the keys underneath the rubber band. The rubber band should rest on top of them. Then you can clip this down so that brick should be in line with the one by one brick underneath. Same with the other side. Make sure they're in line and then clip them down. And again, make sure all your keys are all in the correct order. And then you can see how this mechanism works. So basically, if you push down on the key, it pushes up and then it hits the rubber band and goes back down again. So that creates the appearance that the keys are actually moving about you can imagine how you can play your working grand piano. Then we can finish off this little section just with some decoration. So use these clip pieces and attach them onto these bars. So just align them so that they will fit 
just perfectly on top of those pieces. So there should be no gap at all if you've aligned them correctly. But it's pretty easy to align. You just gotta do it by eye and then clip them in. You might need to move them up a bit if you've clipped them too far, but the end result should look pretty good. And we can make that look even better by hiding all of this rubber band away by just angling this front board downwards. And there you go, that's looking like a proper piano right now. And finally, don't forget to attach that third piano leg. You can use the half stud offset to attach it underneath, just slightly away from the center in the middle of that one by three plate, or just a little bit out from the middle. Now we're almost done with the working grand piano. Here are the rest of the pieces you'll need to complete your grand piano, as well as to build a small seat for your pianist to sit on as they play. So once you've got your pieces, we can start with a four by six plate and a one by eight tile. Clip that over on this side, then fill in the four by six plate with three two by four tiles. Over on this side, attach a three by three round corner plate. This is basically identical to the base of the grand piano, since that what is what this lid is meant to cover. Then two one by three tiles over on the top, and we'll fill in these gaps with some one by one round quarter tiles and some two by two round tiles. So just do that for both sides, and then fill in this side with a one by two tile. So just a regular one by two tile over on that bit. Then a one by four plate underneath that. So let's clip that down and that's what it should look like underneath. On this bit, attach your third two by two round corner tile just over on that side. On the end of this round corner tile, we can place our Technic plate piece. That will be part of the latch mechanism. That's very important you use that piece in specific. Then finish off this end with a one by two tile. We can also clip in a small one by one pin through that Technic piece, just so the pin's facing on this side. And we can put that aside for now while we build the latch itself, which is simply a one by four bar inside of this Technic piece. That can be attached to the pin. So just clip that down and make sure that's not clipped too far towards this way, that there's plenty of space for that to move about because you want that to fold in and out by itself and not get caught on this place. We can almost put that aside for now as well. All that's left to do for the lid is to build the hinge. So this will be one stud apart from this side with the regular one by two hinges and then a one by four plate underneath those pieces. So the lid is done. That just needs to be attached. Now we'll build the small seat for the musician minifigure or the pianist. That can be built with a two by two inverted boat stud underneath of these brackets. So that will just help build up some of the seat texture. And I'm used in a one by two ingot piece, although you could use a tile and just a gap on that side for where you can clip your minifigure. Then for the legs, simply use these one by one round plates with the bars on the end. That will recreate some very realistic looking legs for this chair, just like you get on the real life piano chairs. There you go, you can see in this gap here, that's where you can clip your minifigures so they can play the piano and it looks like they're leaning over on the chairs and that will allow them to reach the keys of the piano. And hopefully that should all balance out and that won't tip over or anything like that, even with the minifigure on it. So now let's attach actual piano together and that's very simple you just attach that with the four one by four gap 
on the piano itself and the hinges go inside of that gap. You can see it should line up exactly with the top. You'll see what I mean where you don't want this bit to be too squashed together. You want plenty of space. You see that's too far squashed in. You want to just bring that piece out a bit and then you can adjust the tile on the top. So basically that won't get stuck. And when you lift up the lid, there you go, it opens up and automatically props up your grand piano. So I hope you enjoyed building this working Lego grand piano. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Let me know what you think of this design in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other how to build working Lego videos. I've got a whole playlist full of functional minifigure scale Lego creations just like this one. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.